and she refused to date him, and he shot her five times. A couple of bullets in her head and her body, and she was rushed to the county hospital in Chicago. I got the call that this had taken place, and me and my sister, and we went to the hospital, which was the county hospital at the time. And when I got there, her mother was there and her sister was there with her, and I walked in with my sister. And as soon as she seen me, she laying there with tubes and a, you know, IV everywhere. And the first thing she said when she saw me, she said, Daddy, I can't wait to get out of this bed to go get you your money. Her mother looked at me and said, what have you done to my child? I said, nothing. They're just dedication, ma'am, pure dedication. That's the same female that would get shot in the leg on the stroll, run home, tie up her leg, change wig, and go right back to work. It was a dedicated process. It was by choice, not by force. Will you have sex with the girls that are in your stable? Yeah, I had sex with the girls that was in my stable. I had some very beautiful young ladies. I mean, they was young, tender, and wow, we. And it was just amazing to have such a stable, of quality, beautiful black women. And it was amazing. You know, I used to lay in the bed, you know, the thought of that with seven chicks and you know what I mean? Having a chick on every arm and every limb and being able to be able to satisfy and enjoy that thrill is every man's, you know, imagination. And you, the girls would work where? On the street? Mm -hmm. The girls work on the street corner? Girls would work on the street corner. They would set up dates and work in the hotel, wherever the money called, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you use the street corner for instant cash, you know what I mean? If, you know, some uh, trick set up a date, for future action, you know what I mean? All is well on that too, but you know, majority, you know, you pimping, you know, you on that concrete, you know what I mean? You got them chicks standing out there, you know what I mean? Seven, eight, 17 hours a day, depending on the paper and how they getting their money, you know what I mean? You reward honesty and you know, a chick that's blessing the table, you know what I mean? Putting it on the dresser. You know, she might get a little day off. She might get a chance to go out and have a ball and enjoy herself or pick her favorite piece of jewelry or materialistic thing, whatever it is. You know what I mean? And that's why I was considered such a good pimp because I gave back. You know, my chicks looked like I looked. You know, it wasn't that I had on diamonds and they did. They wore diamonds too. They wore mink coats too. They had custom made threads on. You know what I mean? I mean, Hey, we was matching. You yeah. did. You did uh, prison time. At some uh -huh. point? Have you done prison time at some point? Prison? No, I never did time in the prison, and I don't think that's no play for a player. My game was official like a referee because I played it as a player, not as a thief, not as a robber, not as a burglar, or none of them things. I send the chick in my play to do all them things, so I wouldn't have to have to do that. That was the thought of having a prostitute, that she would do your bidding so that you don't have to do that. No, I'd never been to the penitentiary. As a matter of fact, I never did drugs. I don't even curse, you know what I mean? And when my girl was into that, you know, getting drugs from the tricks and different things like that, I didn't want it. I would give it away. You know what I mean? Because I know that if you put that drug in their vein, you was going to lose your game. So your girls would be mostly drug free? Huh? Your girls would be drug free or they, some of them would uh, use? We, we smoked weed and we even at a time smoked the PCP, which is known to be a hallucinating drug. Very powerful, but you know what I mean? Cocaine, harem and all that kind of stuff. Acid, PLC and all that.